Hey, hello. This is um, uh, Elevate Gaming or the Elevate Gaming channel for my YouTube channel. Um, I kind of want to do a, like a, a quick walkthrough with the with the streaming rig and then the the rig that I play with. So this is this is pretty much it. It's kind of my main rig, but um, I know a lot of the guys that are uh, computer nerds out there like me. I like building stuff, so uh, I'm kind of just regluing this. I put some uh, adhesive up here and I'm gonna let it dry. And then I'll apply this back on there. It keeps falling down, so I did some here and then along this, ri this ridge here. Um, this uh, this case, the frame, is a Define, a Fractal Define R6. And it's been it's been modified it, or modified. Um, where I, I kind of cut the front out a little bit and made this kind of mesh. This is um just some regular old sliding door material, and I doubled it up, and then I, I put some glue, and uh, this this kind of breaks apart, and then you can screw it back together, so it's kind of pinched in between, but I cut the whole front end out so I can get some ventilation. These are really slim fans that you can get on Amazon, and it kind of sits, but it's meant to, they're all linked linked together, to where I can I can pull it out if I need to, and set it back in place. But it's it's there's a gap between the fans and the actual uh, 360 radiator, which is I believe it's a 60 mil. So it's a thermal take um, 360 radiator with some what was it some Igo Igo Ago whatever A I G O um, R G B uh fans which are they're they're cool they're cool i know i know rgb is a gimmick right now but they're cool um and then i have so these are the one the 120s and then the 140s are up top i believe these are corsair i think um let's find out no they're up here up here um fans which run on there we go I actually click that down um they run on a little module that's down there and on the back side of the um this panel which is really not important um i got the ssds back there and a couple more there's a back panel if i can show some light so behind there um this panel here there's more uh, there's more hard drives back there's like two I think there's like two four, four terabyte drives and um, a couple SSDs on the back side that are, you know, kind of like my, my video games and then my backup 500 gig. And then I think I have the like the scratch drive. I think it's back there, I believe. I forget, but it's not important. And then the two uh, four terabyte ones for, for my main files. And then... Um, stream files so i can just capture them back there they're on the back behind the the water tank but um down here so this is how the loop works if anyone's kind of interested i just I, I like talking about this stuff and plus i'm gonna ramble off but i know people just like looking at stuff um the actual board and the setup uh system itself i didn't have to go water cool but i'm i really like bending the the tubes and the whole aspect of it was really fun for me so I, I chose to do it that um, that this method. I know I could have went air, but I really like the temperature of the GPU. It's cracked. You could see it. Um, I kept getting leaks, and so I, I, I would take it apart, put it back together, take it apart, put it back together. And so finally I used um, a very light um, seal after the gasket, dried it off completely, and then I put some uh, E6000 E6, um, just on the edge and then sealed it shut. And it's, it's still cracked, but it's not leaking anymore. So it's been like this for, um, I want to say four months about plus or minus. I'm not too sure, but it's been like that for a while. I have a new plate. I just haven't done it yet, but the temperature on this at idle, it sits at like 23, 20, 23 around there. And then at peak, it'll go to 42. So under like hard, uh, long sessions, <laughs> it'll go to like 42, maybe 45, but it'll never go any higher than that. So it's, it's a really good system. 
the processor itself will gets pretty hot. It gets about 73 um, under main stress tests, but during gaming and editing, maybe 54 around at most. But a quick walkthrough. Um, it's a it's an i7 8700K that's overclocked to uh, 5.1 gigs on all cores at 1.34 volts. And um, so it's running really good. No hiccups. The game only hiccups, but the system itself runs pretty flawless. It's been like this for months. And um, I'm running some Corsair Vengeance uh, Pro uh, RGB sticks, uh, 3200 that are, are running pretty good. The Strix Asus board, uh, the seven or the three three seventy board, um, and then in there you can kind of see it. I forgot to blow that one out. You can kind of see it. It's the um, there it is right there. It's the M.2. That's where the main um, all my main programs, so the OS, all my editing stuff, are on there, and then um, all my games are on a separate. SSD in the back, so that's 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 like barely used. It's probably only a quarter, uh, quarter full, so it's it's actually running pretty good. Um, extra, uh, you can see it. Extra USB outlets there, just because. Um, okay, the the graphics card and the water loop itself. The graphics card is a PNY uh, 1080 Ti Accelerate model that I bought on eBay with a busted fan or his two busted fans. And so I got it for like 460, which is pretty good deal. Um, anything under 500 is, is a really good deal for a 1080 Ti um, that, that it just, it runs really good. So took everything off and put the water block on it and it's, it's like solid, it's freaking solid. So um, the, that's that, that's the blog. You guys are pretty much, you know, curious about that. Um, but it goes from, let's see, let's start from, I guess we could start from under here, Gravity Falls, that's our, one of our gnomes. Um, but down here is another, this is a uh, 140, these are 120s, this is a 140 Corsair fan, and underneath is the, um, is another, it's a, it's a 140 radiator that is, uh, it's about a, it's a 60 mil. So it's as thick as this. So it's the pre, um, pre radiator. So pretty much everything will go through the, um, well, actually it'll go through here. The pump, it goes into the pump reservoir comes out. Well, actually, yeah, this goes out here. It cools it down. It pre cools it. Then it comes up here into the main one. And so the main, I gotta zoom out, um, comes into the main one. And then this does all the cooling. So it'll come here, go all the way down, go from the bottom all the way back up, goes in the top. You can see it back there, I think, back there. Does a little offset here and uh, goes into the CPU, cools that down, and then it goes into the GPU. Now again, the temperature is like, I like it where it's at, um, and under loads, I think that only sees 70 something C, but under gaming and regular stuff, it's, um, like fifties, it's in the fifties. So it's running pretty good. Um, but I'm really happy with the setup, but this is what I stream with on, uh, on Twitch. So it's a six core, 12 threads. I'm waiting for, um, the, uh, 9900K that's eight threads. Uh, 16 or no eight cores 16 threads which will, which will help a little bit more um, in terms of the streaming output right now it's it's running good um, clean stream it's like like no problems um, but yeah it's a EKV or not EKV um, uh, I can't think of the name um, I can't think of the name right now I'm literally drawing a getting a brain fart do I have, it's not anywhere uh, EK, not EKV, EK water block with uh, the pump, the main re reservoir, um, the block here. That's not, it's a thermal take um, block. 
and some fittings and then the uh, thermal tank tubings and the fittings so works out good on the bottom um, so this is this reservoir down here has a which is cool because it has a drain port in the back so my PSU sits here and then I got a space and then I have a small uh, 90 on the back end that it has a 90 and a valve so it's not a it's not a it's not a rotating one because I didn't trust the rotating fixture um, in there in case they break down it's a solid so I, I turned it to where it's actually facing down and with the valve so I can just uh, plug it and then open it whenever I want drain it there um, open up the the breather here breather there and then kind of like let everything flow out which works pretty good because I have one there and then one over here on the radiator uh, just in case so it's actually pretty it's a pretty nice system and uh, this is my first um, I guess water cooled hard tubing that I did and it's actually um, pretty symmetrical like if you look at everything it's actually it's not bad obviously we got a distance change here so it looks like it's a little off but if you take it up it's pretty even pretty even I think my only little hiccup here was this offset from which is you can kind of see the offset there so it's actually not too bad and there's no there's no kinks I didn't do any kinks in the lines which is one thing I was really concerned about bending stuff there's no you know some some guys even the pros you get um you'll see a kink in their videos but there's there's no kink which is actually pretty cool so really happy how this turned out I gotta clean the, the lines a little bit more but um yeah this is what I stream off of um yeah I'm just I just decided to, to clean it some dust came out of it and uh, get it all squared away but yeah that's it that's what I'm streaming off of this is my first uh, twitch I guess twitch account twitch stream and I decided to to goof around that because I play with I play the games. I play Overwatch as my main game. Uh, my kids, my kids got me uh, the Overwatch characters. My main is uh, Moira, so uh, low diamond, low diamond. Let's put it that way. So it's a lot of fun. I like like the games, and uh, I figure I uh, like the PC and building process of it. So I figure some of you guys might be might find it interesting. It's a long video, but I don't care. Uh, I'll more likely get trolls. So, uh, yeah, I know some, some of you guys out there would appreciate cool video game stuff. Offset there. Offset and then transition. In. The, the, the cool thing is, is um, when I was building this, I think um, this kind of offset here, I don't know why they do it this way. It's a round, it's a round uh, pump, but they're like different angles. I don't know why they, they did that. It's kind of weird. So you have to kind of make do with what you got. But this here lands back there which actually was pretty cool to do it's kind of fun and then uh, i think this transition here was uh was one of one of the cool ones i like to do that i had fun doing kind of goes here so less fittings as possible less hiccups i think the only thing we got are are the actual um main adapters that go into the actual unit so yeah very happy very happy so um I think that'll be it for the video, but yeah, hope you guys uh, tune in for the streams. I, I do them randomly, but if you guys get notifications and stuff like that, I can, um, you know, I usually just randomly do it. Usually when I get home from work or in the weekends, in the mornings, I'll uh, I'll plug it in and uh, just just do a couple streams, nothing too crazy, but um, yeah. Oh, I made this bracket here uh, by myself, which actually sits pretty perfectly, you know. It's still plenty of room for flow, um, you know, from the fan to kind of go through, to push through. So you're going to get a little bit of turbulence, but it's, it's again, it's all liquid. But the, 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 the flow coming in is actually beneficial um, with, or it's, it's benefiting by the fans, the push-pull, push-pull, I guess, um, fan. And then we have another fan here that pool so we get a little bit of breeze plus we get a 
uh, ventilation coming up from the bottom. It goes, goes like this, up, and then we get a little cross breeze. So we're getting a little bit of turbulence in there, but it's not too bad. Those are getting cooled, so everything runs really good. Um, one thing I really don't like, though, a side note, here's where, here's where I start rambling, is the, um, the cases, they, they, make, they make this flat, and they leave these side vents open, which is not enough. Like we, um, my background is is uh, is plumbing and pipe fitting. So a lot of the fans and stuff that we put in and piping, um, you know, you kind of when you're putting stuff in, you kind of need need a little bit of room to kind of to uh, so for the air to kind of flow across. And the way it was set up, like it's like there's like nothing, you know. Like if this was not here and this was just a blank, and you put your fans here. You know, it's it's not a whole lot of room for the to to grab air from. Obviously, this gap was here, and then the fans go here, and then your radiator. But I just decided to uh, to take that out, eliminate it, and make this whole thing air. Put another set of fans, and then it let me sink in a little bit more to kind of get a, a more more velocity, we'll say. So, yeah, that's it. All the way down there, fractal design. R6. It's a badass um, case. So, yeah, this is mine. This is how it's set up, and I think this glue should be... Yeah, it's dried. So I'll push that back in if it sticks. I hope it sticks. It's kind of bugging me. Let's see if this will stick. But, uh, yeah, that's the case. Is this dry? That feels pretty dry. Hopefully it sticks. If not, I'll have to put some more tape up there. But... Uh, ultraviolet cooling, so it's really cool. I, I got a some down. I got to do that, but if it ain't, it's working. I'm not gonna mess with it. But uh, I, I got to replace that. But that's it, you guys. Um, Twitch, everything will be in the description below. Twitch channel, Instagram, um, all the parts that I bought for this. But uh, yeah, that's it. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap it up. It's way too long. <laughs> all right, guys. Hope you, hopefully, I can see you guys on the on the stream and say hi. All right, later.